a couple words about developmental milestones your baby will be facing at four months of age. At four months, many babies can roll over from back to front or front to back. Many babies can bear weight on their legs. Actually, 50% of babies can stand on their legs with support. Many babies can hold up their head and their chest and hold up their arms when they're in tummy time. And many babies can push up to their elbows when lying on their tummies. You should be continuing to do tummy time for increasing lengths of time while supervising your baby several times a day. At four months of age, many babies are able to spot something they see, to reach for it and to grab it. Many babies can follow moving objects from side to side with their eyes. At four months, your baby likely can tell the difference between colors, notably red and green, and see objects at a greater distance up to several feet away. Babies this age can enjoy more complex patterns. So try reading to your baby board books that have bright colors and large patterns to them and try encouraging your baby to touch and to interact with the book. It's really great to get into the habit of reading to your baby regularly. Try for just five to 10 minutes when you put your baby down for a nap. By four months, your baby can go beyond actual tone and can start to distinguish between the words that you utter. At four months, babies can mimic smiles and frowns and recognize facial patterns. Your baby likely is now smiling frequently, particularly at the sight of you. They might show emotion over activities such as when you stop playtime. And your baby will begin babbling more and more, uttering sounds again and again, such as ga 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 or da da da, and remember to teach them first ma ma ma. So with all that said, how do I play with my four month old baby? Well, I recommend doing very, very simple things around the house or outside, and I don't think you need a lot of fancy toys or gimmicks at this point. Number one, I would take my baby and walk around the house narrating what I see, sort of holding my baby like this so that my baby is facing outwards. I would describe colors. I would describe the function of objects. I would describe the rooms in the house and I would just take a little tour, so to speak, walking my baby through the parts of the home and getting them both comfortable in different areas of the home and also used to the idea that we associate actual things in the exterior world with language. I would go to different family members, siblings, my partner, and say their name repeatedly while holding the baby, emphasizing the vowels. So, you know, Annalise might be ah, 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 or Marielle, or Beckett, be, 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 to try to encourage your baby to develop those first sounds. I would play with a mirror, looking with my baby into the mirror together and touching the mirror, and hopefully it's a good hair day for you. I would encourage my baby to roll around. I would play on the floor with my baby in a clean space, placing toys a little bit out of their reach and trying to get them to move forward and to pivot their hips and to develop more strength in their legs. Another thing you can do is play with balls, and this is a great way to teach your baby about cause and effect because they'll start to associate the actual pushing of the ball was seeing the ball roll away from them. In addition to playing with balls, you can try to introduce your baby to different textures, soft blankets, fluffy pillows, the feeling of wool. You can use clothes to do this. Remember though, of course, especially when it comes to blankets and pillows and things like that, that you wanna keep these materials away from your baby's face to make sure that breathing is at no time obstructed should they be lying flat either on their tummy or on their back. And in no event when you're engaging in any of this play, should your baby be left unattended. Drum roll please, now's the time you can finally play peak a boo, but keep in mind that when you do the boo and you disappear, your baby might show signs of being upset because they might not know that the peak is soon to come.